welcome to my channel, I'm Pixray MUA and in this video I'll be showing you how to get this super fancy look. This is part of my Halloween 101 series. Over the next couple of weeks I'll be showing you how to get some Halloween looks for beginners. I do give you the option not to wear it with the veins underneath but I thought it just was a cool sort of vampire diaries kind of look. This is my first video, so please subscribe down below if you do like what you see. Give me a comment and a like. So guys, to begin, I'm going to use using my Rimmel Last and Finish Primer. It's eight hours wear. So I'm just going to it. I'm dotting this all over my face. I really love this primer. It's not for everyone. I know it is silicon based, but for some reason that works for me. I might wear this thing, but you can use whatever primer you can show you. Okay, then next I'll be taking my Revlon Colour Stay in Buff. And so I just drop this all over my face. I do like full coverage and I absolutely love this foundation. It is the one for oily combination skin as my skin is rather oily and this does last all day on me. And then I take the beauty blend and just balance that into the skin. Concealer by Collection. This is one of my absolute favourites, and again, this is the other because I am super pale. I'm going to start this all over my imperfections, and I like to do this little bit at a time with my beauty blender, as I do find this dries quite quickly. And I take some straight down the nose, around the sides, combat any redness. And then I'll go under the eyes, get rid of any dark circles. And again, I'll actually just do this one eye at a time because I find it saturated quickly. And I must go over the eye, pat like an eye primer, just to get rid of any veins or discoloration on the eyelids. And once our base is all nice and blended, I really like to get into the sides of the nose. Next I'll take some loose powder, um, this is the Grimmer's Translucent Powder. Now my camera did just stop recording for some reason, so fingers crossed I got most of that in. If I did skip anything, I'm really sorry. Well, normally I would contour with obviously a normal contour colour, however because we are doing more of a Halloween feel, I'm going to take a grey contour. Obviously, if you don't want to do this step, feel free to use your own. I'm actually using an eyeshadow from the Redemption Palette Essential Mattes 2 by Makeup Revolution. I'm just going to take this colour here. Oh, and excuse my nails, I've broken them. They're being fixed tomorrow, which is great. Just take it on my uh, sculpting brush by um, Real Techniques. Start taking that right into the hollows of my cheek. Vampire y, hollowed, chiseled look. 
And obviously this is for people that don't want to go out super crazy but still want to look Halloween-y. And again, I just like to hit the jawline as I have quite a round face. So I think I'm going to go with this shade here, the Gossip. I'm just taking my setting brush by Real Techniques, but I absolutely love this. I'm going quite heavy on the highlight today, just because it is a Halloween look, but obviously you just do what you want. Just the cheekbones. Can you see that? It is gorgeous. And again, just the cheekbones. So you just highlight as much as you like. But again, with this being a Halloween look, I want to go super, super glam. And just on the bin. And the good thing about this palette as well, it does have a mirror. So if anything that's different, I'm really sorry. I was just blending this colour up up into the bow bin. And if leaving this here taking a clean fluffy brush and blending even more yes. 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 okay next on this spectrum seeds 06 brush it's nice and fluffy as you can see but take I'm going to be taking this colour here and that's the super dark red and it's super pigmented so just go a little at a time and just again putting that right into the crease and as you can see how pigmented that is and just blend Again, the same as that other shade that we just laid down. Again, just going in with this big flush, fluffy brush. Just keep blending. And again, just to deepen it even further. And then the same shade into the very outer corner. Now I'm keeping it super smoked out because we want that glam feel. And again, just blend away. And then just the same on the right. So next, I'm just going to take this shimmery shade here and I'm going to actually take that on my finger as I really want the colour payoff so just on the bare part of our eyelid and can you just see that colour it is so beautiful and again just same on the other eye and you can see how pigmented these shadows are. They are amazing. And I'm now just taking a fluffy brush like this one, taking that same shimmer shade and just blending it. Now on a smaller, slightly fluffy pencil brush, I'm going to take just the black, just a small amount to 
to the outer corner. Really. This is so pigmented. I mean, I'd literally just tap that in and that is put down so much product. But then I'll just get back in with this brush with the red that we had on and blend that out. And also just taking this brush here can really get it into the crease. So again, I'm just going to take this fluffy brush again, dip back into that deep red shade and run that under the lash line. Now as this is a Halloween look, I am going quite far down. If you don't want to, you don't have to take this as far down as what I'm doing. If you want to make it look a bit more wearable, just run it more like that along your lower lash line rather than this side. But feel free to take it down as far as you want. And I'm going to take that same pencil brush, just using the black colour from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I cannot get over how pigmented this black is. It is insane. So as you can see, this is the eye look. Next I'm going to highlight the inner corner. I'm going to go back to my Latte London um, Shimmer Squad Holographic Haul palette. And again, just taking that same colour on a really tiny brush. And again, just popping that into the inner corner. just to brighten the whole look up. Okay, so as you can see, I've just applied my eyeliner off of camera, super winged out, and black in the waterline. I've used the Epic Ink Liner for NYX. My waterline is the Miss Sporty Black Magic. And on my lashes, I've just used the Big Mascara. Now you could leave the eyes here. Or for an extra Halloween step, you could take Skin Illustrator palette. Now these are alcohol activated paints, but you could use watercolour paints. Again, you can see here all of these super fun Halloween -y special effects colours. Now in order to use these alcohol activated paints, you do need 99% alcohol. Nothing more, nothing less. And I just use the Skin Illustrator um, a slow activator. I do have a decanter into a spray bottle. I just got one of these from Superdrug. So I'm going to be doing some veining effects down the eyes, a bit like Vampire Diaries if you watch it. I personally am obsessed. Again, just for that Halloween neat feel. So I'm going to be using a mixture of these colours along the top. They're just a super, super thin detail brush. Now spray my palette and this into the deeper red and just be careful with these under your eyes, obviously it is alcohol, they can be strong and just going to begin making squiggly lines all the way and then just tapping them with my finger which will make them look a little more under the skin and the more alcohol you use as well the more opaque these will be and again just tapping out you do put too much on that I did just take your beads and do your left over foundation. Okay, like this. I'm going to take some of the other colours and just add them in. Right, so. So next we're going for brows. I'm going to use 
the Dip Bow Pomade in Chocolate by Anastasia of Berkeley Hills. You can use whatever product suits you best. Obviously you don't have to do your brows exactly like mine. Just do them how you prefer. So I'm just taking my double ended in Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. Okay guys, so for the lips I'll be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. It's just a nice deep dark purple colour and I absolutely love the smell of these. Just going to fix everything in place with the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please subscribe and give this a huge thumbs up. If it is my first video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!